Hey, Sean, I'm taking the train to New York instead of flying. How much does that cut my carbon emissions? That's a good question. On one hand, if you just look at the fuel burned per passenger per mile, a fully loaded train creates one tenth the CO2 of a fully loaded airplane. But there are two problems with that calculation. One, passenger trains are not fully loaded. The average occupancy in the US is closer to half. Airplanes usually have a much higher occupancy. Two, it's not just the trip itself that counts. A lot of CO2 is emitted before the trip even begins and after it ends. Building and maintaining railroad infrastructure creates a lot more greenhouse gases than the fuel used for travel. With airlines, it's the fuel burned on each flight that's more important. So, occupancy matters. If that same train were moving twice as many people, it would be much greener than air travel. It seems like every time we ask a simple question about solving this problem, it turns out to be not so simple.